Hello, let's do a couple quick examples on how to read a monopoly graph here. So we've got a downward sloping demand curve, we've got a marginal revenue curve inside of the demand curve. Uh, the reason it's inside there is that in order to make more sales, you have to lower the price, which is going to affect revenue, and it's going to decrease the revenue. Okay. Now at the uh, before the fifth unit, as they lower the price, they're going to make uh, more additional revenue, right? They're going to keep increasing the amount of revenue that they make. After the sixth good, though, or after the fifth good, rather, uh, the more they lower the price, the less revenue they make. So this is the inelastic portion, and this is the elastic portion up here, okay? And you can just tell that uh, wherever the marginal revenue curve goes negative. That's how to tell that. Now, in order to figure out how what the price the single price monopolist should, should charge, uh, we're going to use our profit maximization rule, so the firm should always produce to where the additional cost equals the additional revenue. Okay, or said a different way, uh, where marginal cost equals marginal benefit. That's profit maximization rule. Okay, so we find that that spot here. So here's the marginal cost. Here's the marginal revenue. Uh, we find where that is, and that's uh, at quantity three. Okay, so this monopolist is going to produce a quantity of three, and then uh, they could charge this price of four. Uh, but since there's no competition, they're going to raise it right up to where it hits the demand curve. And so that's going to be 7. So monopoly price is going to be 7. And what this means is that this is going to be the revenue. So this huge box right here is the revenue. Remember, total revenue equals price times quantity. Okay, so in this case, that's going to be price of 7 times quantity 3, total revenues be 21. Okay, now in order to figure out if they're making a profit or not, we need to know the average total cost curve. Okay, so I'm going to draw one here. Okay, and let's say um, it's right there. Okay, well, that was little goofy there. Okay, so here we've got average total cost curve. The reason I drew it that way is the minimum of the average total cost curve always hits the marginal, always intersects marginal cost. Okay, so that's that's where that happens. So um, at profit maximizing quantity, which is three, so at three, which is right here, um, what is the, the average total cost? Because remember, uh, total cost is going to keep equal average total cost times quantity. Okay, so just figure that out. So this is going to cost us five dollars. Okay, so the the average total cost is five. Um, oops, not equals times um, quantity three, which is going to be fifteen. Okay, and then profit. Just draw pi for profit. There is going to be total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so that's 21 minus 15, and so the total profit is 6 Okay, under this monopoly. So this is how we do this. Now, uh, may also be asked about what is the deadweight loss. So the deadweight loss, if this was a competitive market, we'd produce where marginal cost equals marginal benefit. Uh, and so we're going to lose out on this triangle right here. Okay, I'll do that in purple here. So this is the deadweight loss. Okay, here, I'll just color the whole thing in. That's fine. Okay, so if we wanted to figure out what that is, uh, we're going to multiply, uh, remember that formula is one half base times height, which in this case is going to go from four to seven, so that's going to be three. I'll have to write it right here. Um, 0.53 times one, because this is four right here. Okay, so three times one is three. And then half of that is one and a half. So the deadweight loss is one and a half. This is the loss of efficiency due to this monopoly. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, same demand curve, same marginal revenue curve. But in this case, let's assume that the um, this is something like uh, an, an album, like a, a song. And uh, the, the average total cost okay, is 
constant. It's the same cost to produce an additional unit. Right? Once we've produced it once, we can digitally copy this thing over and over and over again. So that also turns into the marginal cost. Okay. So in this case, um, we've got this intersecting at three and a half. Okay, and that could be like three and a half million units or something like that. So um, marginal cost equals marginal revenue uh, at quantity 3.5. Okay, and then we want to know what the monopoly price is. So we're going to go all the way up here. And then it looks like about six and a half. So price six and a half. Okay, now we can see pretty easily what the deadweight loss is here. I'll do this one in purple. So the deadweight loss. It's going to be this big triangle here. Okay, this is dead weight loss under a monopoly. So if I wanted to calculate that, I would go uh, one, two, three, four. So four and a half. So this is one half. Four and a half times one, two, three, three and a half. Okay, and that math's a little weird, so. Do this one, 4.5 times 3.5 times one half, and we get uh, 11 and two thirds. So the dead weight loss is 11 and two thirds, and that's what that's what this is. Okay. Now, um, if in in other videos, if the monopoly loses their monopoly, they lose their technological monopoly, it goes. Uh, public or something like that, then we're going to produce all the way out to here. Okay, and then the consumers will gain this huge consumer surplus. So they'll 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 gain this consumer surplus would be the whole uh, triangle there in this market. Okay, so that's how to that's how to calculate those and that's how to how to tell. Remember the rule: find profit maximization, follow it up to the demand curve, and that's how to get that done.